What is up, guys? It is your boy, Main Mania. And welcome back to what is going to be our final run of Fatal 200 of the Classic Tower. Now, before we jump right into things, I did forget a segment from my collection video. And we're going to do it after the boss battle in today's episode. But let's go ahead and jump right on into it, y'all. Haven't changed much. We are once again in a position where we may be able to Fusion X the Rock and Bowling Stones, which I think is one of the best pieces in the game. And I would love to see that happen, but I don't know if we're going to be able to pull it off. So let's go ahead and give it a try and we'll see what happens. We're going to start things off with a quick snare on Johnny. We did get the soaked. And now we're going to try to go ahead. I just remembered there's Sandstorm. So we'll try to switch at the at the 140 mark. We got the team soaked. We're going to combo ender that. Cancel. And now we're going to come in with a special two. I was hoping we could have gotten a Denian's champion on that, but we didn't. But that's all good. We may be able to earn our way to another one. We're blind though. We gotta go ahead and use this last soak because we gotta tag out. We're blind, and unfortunately, we're gonna be sit we're gonna be uh sand soaked as, as well. So well, I was wanted to get one soaked off of uh movie on movie raiden before it was too late, but I didn't. We're gonna go for a combo endo soaked first. Now we'll go for the team soaked. We got the team soaked, but once again, we have to wait until the sandstorm passes. Now we'll switch. That one little thing makes all the difference, y'all. Now we can get these crits. You see those crits? You see those lethals? That's what it's all about. And now we should be able to finish this off with a special one. Unless he doesn't die to the special one, we'll go another one. May have not needed this one, but either way, Let's do that because he has a special two and we don't want him healing on his special two. So battle done once again. And our final chance to max out the rock and bowling stones. Y'all know what to do. Cross your fingers for your boy. No one cares about this. Show me the bowling stones. Oh, well. Now I have a dilemma, boys, right? Now I have a dilemma. Do I take my chances with an epic pack and see if I potentially get the last copy I need from that, right? That's one option. Another option is wait until it's in the crypt again. You're at Fusion 9, you just need one more. Wait until it's in the crypt. But the problem is it was just in the crypt about, you know, six, seven weeks ago. So the odds of it coming to the crypt anytime soon are very slim. I don't see we see that piece in the crypt until maybe the end of this year, which is seven, eight months from now, where I would love to be able to use that piece at Fusion X so I can um, so I can test it out on my boy Undead Johnny. And then I also say to myself, well, you can also still get it from a random drop because both towers are still going on. So. I'm not really sure what to do, y'all. And the third option is, you know, both towers are still going on for, well, one tower is still going on for another 18 days. So there is a chance that, you know, I can get a random drop of the Bowling Stones, which I have gotten a random drop of it so far in this run. So there's a chance I can get a random drop of it. So I, I'm not really sure which way I'm going to go. I definitely don't want to spend money. So um, that's probably not going to happen. But I would love to get that piece maxed out before this tower is over and unfortunately we didn't get it done today. So that is what it is. But nonetheless, guys, it was a segment from my collection video that I forgot to do. And um, I thought it would have been a, a nice little fun thing to do. So we'll start off with the bronzes, right? And if you had to ask me what characters I think I would play most in the bronze category, I would probably say out of the bronzes, the three characters I play the most are the Shirai Ryu, who was my first ever character in this game. Sergeant. And. Oni. I would guess those are my top three. But you can actually find that out, guys. If you sort for. Whoops. If you sort 
can you please if you sort for most used you can actually find that out so i thought that's pretty cool so you can see which characters you use the most and i was right with sergeant shirari you and oni in that order boys in that order okay okay we're gonna do this again for the silvers for the silvers for the silvers i'm gonna say my number one silver is probably silver kenshi scorpion and then cassie i'm gonna go with kenshi scorpion cassie let's filter for the silvers and reptile wow reptile then sub-zero then devora wow i haven't played silvers in such a long time but that does make sense because those were the last silvers that i pretty much had to get you know ranked up um so that probably makes sense i was probably playing them to level them up because i wasn't wasting my level up cards on my actual silvers i was only using my level up cards for my diamond, I mean for my golds. So I didn't use them on silver, so I played the silvers so I can get the XP for like the last few that I had left. I find this very interesting. I wonder if it's, yeah, I just wanted to refresh it real quick because that is pretty surprising if you ask me, very surprising, but nonetheless. All right, golds, 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 golds. I have a feeling for the golds, it's gonna be Combat Johnny. Mournful Katana and it's so hard to think of the goals when you don't really play them that much anymore. Co-op Cassie. Those are my three for goals. Survey says. Mournful Katana number one. Can she? I completely forgot about can she? Elder God Kenshi, I can see being number two. Balanced, I, I did not see. However, the reason why both of those Kenshis are above Johnny is once again, and alludes to how much I farm my feats of strength, right? Elder God Kenshi is the best character for farming your X-rays and your fatal blows because he can give any character in the game power with his passive. And so for the Nether Realmers, the Elder Gods, who do not have a character of their own that can automatically give them a bar of power with their passive, you bring an Elder God Kenshi, you get a kill with him, and then it'll he'll give the remaining characters on the team, no matter what class or who they are, a bar, a bar of power so they can get their x-rays and their, um, their fatal blows. So, Elder God Kenshi, I definitely see being number two. Y'all already know Mournful Katana was my OG main in this game. I played a lot of her and I also used her to farm feats of strength for my outworld characters. So I can definitely see her still holding down the number one spot from where I am because she was my OG main in this game. If you take away the fact that I used both Balance Kenshi for my Spec Ops characters and Elder God Kenshi for all my Netherrealm and Elder God characters, if you take those two things away, it would have been Mournful, combat johnny and cyrax the reason cyrax is up there above kobu jutsu who actually is the truthful number three cyrax is above there because i actually use cyrax in boss fights cyrax is one of the best support characters in the game and i'll show you why guys you guys have seen me use him in our boss fights before you've seen me use him in one for all battles whenever there's a one for all boss fight and that's because cyrax has a universal passive where he gives everyone on your team 50% critical damage boost, okay? So he has half of MK11 Noob Cybot's passive, and it applies to any character in the game, not just Netherrealm or MK11 characters. So Cyrax is actually a great character to use as a third wheel in boss fights if you wanna buff your crit damage for the other two characters on the team. Very, really, solid um character there's actually another piece that does that that i use pretty frequently in boss fights 
for those of you guys who are looking to increase your damage and don't have tower gear for that tower or just increase your tower damage in general and that piece is i can't remember the top of my of my um head but when i see it i'll remember it i have it pretty low that piece is the director's chair so fyi if you get it if you guys did not know the, the director's chair um for every bar of power that you spend against the other team against well, for every bar of power spent against you your team gains a 15 percent critical hit damage boost for the next 20 seconds and it can stack three times so you can get up to 45 percent crit damage boost every time the other team uses specials against you so that is a pretty solid piece if you want to buff your damage just throwing in that tidbit as we're going through because now we are up on the diamonds diamonds are going to be based on boss fights at this stage of the game boss fights took over this game you know the event towers and boss fights took over this game for like the last five plus years now so if you ask me my diamonds that are going to be my most used are going to be the diamonds that i use in boss fights and although in my opinion injustice 2 raiden may be up there i didn't max him until within the last year and at which he's been my primary dominant boss fight killer so i'm gonna go i'm gonna say number one i'm gonna say number one is gonna be undead johnny number one is undead johnny number two i'm gonna say is classic Liu kang and number three might be spec op scorpion I'm over here trying to think. I'm trying to think. I think Undead Johnny's holding on the top spot for sure. I'm going to say Classic Wu Kang number two. And Spec Ops Scorpion may be number three. But if it's not Spec Ops Scorpion, I would say it's probably Assassin Katana, who is my true main in this game. So who are my diamonds? Number one is Assassin Jade? No way. I haven't used her in a boss fight in so long, but then again, I can see that being the case because I've been using her in the crypt a lot. And Day of the Dead Katana should be up there. So my, my top three, truthfully, are Assassin Jade, Day of the Dead Katana, and Assassin Katana. How Assassin Jade passed Assassin Katana? It's strictly because I use Assassin Jade every chance I get in the crypt because she has a really solid one-two combination of tag in special plus that, you know, very quick special one. So she helps me run through the crypt really, really quickly. Very surprised by this though. Very, very surprised. Hellspawn is up there once again for farming feats of strength. He gives martial artists one and a half bars of power. So I can see why Hellspawn is where he's at. Freddy is up there because y'all already know your boy's a Freddy. You know what I'm saying? Your boy's one of the top Freddy players in the community. Um, but Assassin J being number one is very, very shocking to me. Very, very shocking. I'd love to see the numbers on that if they were able to be broken down because it's probably like single digits over Undead Johnny. Then again, I haven't used Undead Johnny to boss fight in a con on a consistent basis ever since, you know, I maxed out Injustice 2 Raiden. So I guess I can kind of see that Injustice 2 Raiden shouldn't be here because once again, I, I just recently maxed him in the last year. He's way down the list, but I can imagine him making his way towards the top of this list. And you got Spec Ops Scorpion and MK11 Noob being top support characters that I use. I can see them being there. Classic Raiden was actually a character I play a lot of, and he's actually like my number one, number two character as well as Aaron Black. You see him in the crypt right now. Those are like my number one, number two character in the crypt as well, as well as classic Goro. So, and, and Ravenous Molina. So I can see all of these characters being here right now. Uh, there's no sleepers here. I used to use Dark Emperor, Liu Kang, and Faction Wars all the time. MK11 Sub-Zero is my top support for MK11 teams. Cold War Sonya was originally like one of the best golds in the game until they nerfed her when she became a diamond. And Ravenous was always one of my mains in this game, along with my girls, the Assassins and Day of the Dead. So, yeah, guys, I thought this was a pretty interesting uh, a segment. I was going to add this to my collection video, 
and I just didn't want my video to go too long. So I remember looking at the timer and just trying to wrap things up. But this is what I wanted to finish off my collection video with. And uh, thankfully, you guys still got to see that. So we didn't get the Bowling Stones. However, you know, we can still potentially get it from a random drop or we can wait for it to show its face in the crypt. A little sad, but who knows? Maybe I'll get this random drop. We got 18 days left of this tower. Cross your fingers for your boy. Maybe it'll happen. If you guys enjoyed today's episode, as always, show the channel some love, show the videos some love, leave a like, share it with your friends. And uh, don't forget to check out my other series that's going on right now, which is Breath of the Wild. Loving that game, having so much fun with that. And uh, I'm thinking about what other series are going to accompany it. I have three series, three games in mind. One of them I can't wait to play. And I think now is actually the perfect time to play it. But it wasn't going to be next. It wasn't in queue to be next or the one after that. The two games in queue. I'm debating if I should skip it with number three which I'm super excited for. You know, I'm I'm most excited to play that over everything else. And so um so yeah, I'm I'm over here debating what other series are going to start soon. Uh it will be happening soon, but I'm still trying to iron things out. I got my mic good now. Editing has been a breeze, thankfully, and I think I got everything in a nice rhythm where I can start pushing out content and get the editing done a lot, a lot, a lot more quicker than I had to in the past so yeah that's what it is a lot of games in mind couple games on deck i haven't made up my mind yet but you guys will have to stay tuned to find out what game gets chosen and i know you guys will enjoy it if you give it a chance so start giving these other series a chance if you enjoy my content because there's plenty more to come and if you guys haven't caught up with my series the legend of zelda tears of the kingdom Make sure you guys catch up on that series until next time with Main Mania.